Welcome back guys to another video and in today's video yes I am going to be doing a review on the favorite white bird and shea bird after a whole year's of use. Now I will say I'm not sponsored by any company, I'm not sponsored by favorite, so these are just these are just my honest thoughts and opinions after a whole year's use. But now let's go ahead and get started on the video. Here is the favorite white bird. It is a 7-2 medium heavy action rod. Now overall I will say the rod is in pretty good shape after a year. It has its normal, you know, wear and tear. I ha it does have some scratches here. The cork is getting dirty, and little little small pieces of it are coming off. The foam here, it's a little dirty too. But overall, on the looks of it, it it's doing good. Obviously, it has not broken thus far, and it is made out of the IM24T carbon rod. So, it is honestly pretty light. I like it. It's pretty sturdy. Like it feels strong. It doesn't feel like I'm, you know, it doesn't feel like it's gonna break when I set the hook or anything like that. So I do like that about it. Now I will say one thing that does bother me about the rod is that over time, this little eyelids right here, they come off. And so I've I have this top one missing, and I don't know if that messes up my line after after casting a lot, but. I don't know, that would be probably my only complaint about this rod. It does retail for $59.99 and I feel that for that price and the way it has been holding up so far, I like it. It's pretty good. I don't have any other complaints about it. Pretty solid rod. So here it is. This is the favorite white bird. You guys can get it at the favorite website. That is where I got mine from and they do come with a standard uh, blood sock. Uh, you do have to pay for, fish, for shipping, I know that, but uh, overall, not a bad rod. Now, I will get into the favorite Shaybird. I guess you could say it's kind of like its cousin. I do like the design on it. it. Looks really neat. It looks clean. I like that. Now, this is also a rod made out of IM24T carbon. I'm not sure what the science is behind it, uh, but that's just the components that it's made out of. Now I will say, after I think the very first time I used it, this little foam right here, the teal foam, it got dirty. And ever since then, it has been dirty. So I will say, don't expect that to be clean, like all the time. And the cork here, it is coming off a little bit and it's getting dirty. Actually, this is a little bit worse of a shape than the white bird. But this is the 7-1 Action Fast. So, I mean, it is a little bit flimsier than the other ones. This is a faster rod, but overall, it has its normal wear and tear, and it's, it hasn't broken. It hasn't broken yet. It does also retail for $59.99, and the cool thing about the Shaybird is that I read in an article that uh, the daughter of the CEO of Favorite was the person who actually designed the rod. She was the person that designed the color scheme and the pattern and everything. So yeah, this is the Shaybird supposed to be the ladies version of the white bird or that's how I understood it. So for any ladies of you out there, I mean, you guys could get either Shaybird or um, white bird, it doesn't really matter. But this is meant, this was targeted more for the ladies, for the girls that like to fish. And uh, overall, it's, it's in pretty solid shape. I will say this got dirty here and the, um, the cord's coming off a little bit. And also, I've, I have noticed that throughout the time that I've been using it, the color, this used to be white, and it's not white anymore. It kinda has turned into more of a, like a yellowish white. The white, the white is still completely white. And uh, I just I just noticed that the color started to wash off a little bit on this. But nonetheless, it's still pretty good. I have not had a problem with the eyelets on the shaver. So I believe that that is a good thing. They're basically, I will say, the white bird and the shepherd, that I feel like they're basically the same rods. The only difference is that this was targeted more for ladies and the color scheme is a little different. But nonetheless, I do like it. It is pretty good. But now I will say, comparing these two rods, which one I like more, I will just say that I like the white bird more. And that's because I feel like just holding it right here, just the, the white bird feels more solid. I don't know why. The, the actually the eyelids right here, it has the white bird has more, smaller eyelids than the shaver, 
I mean, the only difference with that, it'll just help you cast, you know, more accurately. Yeah, the, yeah, now that I'm seeing, now that I'm looking at them, the eyelids on the white bird are smaller than the eyelids on the shaver. So what I've kind of noticed is that the shaver is kind of more like, it's more entry level, I guess you could say, even though they're basically the same rods, they're basically built the same, but I have noticed that it doesn't feel quite as, you know, as tough, I guess you could say. I mean, none of them has broken on me, and but I just feel like the white bird has done me, I like, I, I don't know, I just like it better. It feels more solid, sphere feels good. But you know, nonetheless, they're both the same price. You can get them at either store. I did get the combo with it, uh, with the Shaybird. I do have the reel, but since I didn't get the reel for the white bird, I wasn't gonna do every one of the reels. The reel has done fantastic, has done great. The little part here, I actually have the reel right here. The Shaybird reel, here it is. It's got line all over it. But I will say the foam part right here, it does get dirty very, very quick. So if you like things clean, I don't know if I would recommend getting the Shaybird. You can't notice, obviously, on the black foam. But, you know, I will say for the price, this is probably one of the best rods I've bought. The, the White Bird, I will say. The Shaybird, you know, it doesn't feel like that's quality, even though they're basically the same rod. But, yeah, I, for the $59.99, probably one of the best rods I've bought. It feels good. I've set the hook hard on this thing and it has done, you know, wonders. It's, it's pretty good. But yeah, you know, if you guys want me to do other videos and other reviews after, you know, after using the rods, the rods were pretty good shape after a year. They were, they did well, honestly. They haven't broken or anything. I don't have any complaints, except for the eyelid on the white bird. It, but that is really about it. So. And if you guys like videos like this, let me know in the comments down below. And would you see what other videos I can come up with for you guys? I know I haven't been posting a lot. I know I've been busy, but it is what it is. I will be coming up with more videos for you guys, but until next time, peace.